I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Understood. And thank you. The curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Oh. Would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. Clive! Where are you? In here. What's wrong? Rose area's under attack. What? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang, Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith, trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kuka harbors such a grudge against Sid. But as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I am not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I have lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. All right. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. Fuck okay, yeah, I'm down with it. Motherfucker interrupted us. We're about to go down with business, but then fucking Gav came in because of Kupka. That bastard must die. <laughs> he must die, damn it. Alright, what up? Tell us what we're getting up to. Don't Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosaleth. But not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. So what's going on? I need to know answers, dammit! Ah, if it isn't my favourite pupil. 
Let's see now. Where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge... Uh, can't hurt? We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kupka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmekia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's Fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the Fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province but to draw you out. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident, but not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas, it will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. We cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way. And so must you. We'd best get a move on, then. Oh. Will you be going, too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on. Are we actually gonna fight this motherfucker in our home of all places? God damn it! <laughs> oh my god, uh, Jill, uh, is she gonna die? I don't know. I feel like she, the curse is already uh, showing up. I, I, 
I didn't want to believe it, but it's like, it, it, it looked like she's actually getting the curse. Because when, before they had, like she, they announced that she, oh no, she like, was she, what was it like? She was using her powers. She felt like pain in her stomach. Like how Sid got pain in his hand. Like he, we saw, like he was turning to stone. God damn it! Uh, why the f what? Why isn't this guy turning into stoneish? The, the fucking Koopka. He's been like using his power too much. When he fought uh, with Jill, when he like fought uh, the hideaway. I mean, like this motherfucker's like been using it a lot. How the fuck he's not turning to stone already? By the castle gates at once. Hugo and his men have been busy. They've already breached the castle's outer wall. The Imperials are holding the ground for now, but it's only a matter of time before the keep falls. Those fuckers really went to town on this place. Almost like they want to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. All this for one man? They didn't have to go so far. If you keep your wits about you, I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. Likewise. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. It's like a nightmare. This was our home. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going. Ah, uh, yes. I need to call on my dog to help me out as well. <laughs> Like, he was like kind of a special guest. So yeah, I think Clive's mother is the one who let him in. This isn't an invasion. It's a massacre. He'll stop at nothing, Clive. Nothing. She had to. Like it went it, like that. That's what I saw. Like it just went, it just bounced. It didn't look like it, 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 it fucking hit the fucking roof. It looked like it just bounced or something and it just moved away. But then somehow the explosion happened here. Was that the, the rock that was falling down here or was that some kind of other rock? Like, so, like it looked like something or someone just. Punch the shit out of the rock so they could go to another direction. Or 
protect. Some opponents will cast protect spells. God damn it. It's murderous. And there's only one fitting punishment. Who's this guy? Who? It's you. Oh no, no, that's Jill. Who the fuck is protecting him? Who the fuck is protecting protecting him? You? Okay, bitch. Did this work on you? Fuck, yeah, it actually fucking fucked him. Why is this one so hard to kill? I better be here. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. God damn. Oh, wait, that's one of the catapults. I yield! I yield! Gentlemen, <laughs> you want to stay? Come here, bastards. <laughs> I just saw Jill like fucking backing off. I thought she was like attacking someone else. Wait, wait, oh. Can I do anything about this? Maybe destroy it just in case there's like some random fucking bastard just comes in and she's fucking uh, using it? You never know. Okay. What the fuck? These, these are like some kind of new dogs. What the fuck? You put armor on the dogs? Where the fuck are you? Over there. Did I break that? I'm sorry. New enemies. I'm not sorry. Fuck it, bitch. Come on, Togo. You're, you're stronger than these bastards. Oh yeah, just pretty notice. I've over 1,000. Shit. I don't even use this. Ah, should I? I don't know. Hmm. Should I buy this? I don't know. I don't think so. What if I master this? What? 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 Extend trigger window.
okay, it's okay. I want that. I gotta fucking shoot more fucking charge bolt at them or charge fucking damn uh whatever. Uh, Come on, back him. Oh, this one's new? This is a new guy? Right, who, who's the magician here? What the fuck? I go from here. Oh, is Koopa actually here? He can't be here. He has to be in his uh, kingdom protecting it, protecting his I don't know his his uh his king. So he can't leave him. Which one's the magician? Is that the magician? You were too late, my friend. <laughs> you can even put a shield on your friends. Fucking bastard. like some kind of important figure he can't be here oh mary might maybe he can't be here he's giving all this fucking shit maybe he is here give me potion give me the, the, the amulets god damn is he actually here he's here remember yeah, to take him take alive take me alive can, can you take me alive damn it <laughs> Where is he? He's over there. I see him. Piece of shit. Come on, all line up, all line up. 
Set her loose. They have a curl. Control this motherfucker, holy fuck! Too slow. Looks badass! Nice try. Super Saiyan, what the fuck is this shit?
that voice. <laughs> Holy fuck. Was this actually the boss? Like the, like the boss boss of this fucking area? I thought it was going to be Koopka, actually. I was worried for nothing. Kill! We meet at last, Sid. Or should I say Lord Rosfield? I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. <laughs> I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard. <laughs> Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. <laughs> Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your starring moment. To the festivities. Just great, that is. I suppose it's up to me then. 